The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, boys. I'm going to go over uh, some of the trades that we had up here. If you remember, I was recommending selling the S&P here on a 382 retracement uh, on Monday. And uh, we got a real nice 382 retracement there at 63. And then today, uh, hold on, Microsoft is making new highs on the year, and I have to turn off that beeper. Otherwise, it'll drive me nuts. There's probably going to be a few others because... As usual, I've had a tiny bit of trouble with the, uh, yeah, we're right up against that new highs now uh, in softy. That's where we are. Uh, anyway, let's just talk here about the silver because I think this is a, this to me is a trading opportunity. You'll notice here we had the uh, A, B, C, D coming down here. Listen, I'm going to draw this in. I want to show you some of the tools that I use here. Uh, you, most of you have seen them all, but we're going to show them to you again. There's your A, B leg right there. There's your C, D leg coming in right here and then we have another a b leg right here and a cd leg coming in right up here at uh, 24.95 the high today was uh, uh 2504 so it's went about seven cents of where we are uh right there now all i'm going to do now i've had a request to go over what i do when i'm looking at these lunar cycles there's a program in ensign that draws the the cycles from low to high okay you see that's a that's a 12-day cycle okay now all I do is when I see high to high Yan said you know watch for stuff like that and I picked I picked the middle one I could have picked either one figure around 12 11 or 12 days and I just move it over here and you'll see that should be coming in either today or tomorrow I could if it was 11 days it was today yesterday was the uh, full moon so what I did was I think I I, I said we should go short here at 2495 I didn't put it in because I had you know I had the uh, what do we what do you call it they had all the alligators in the swamp were coming out at the same time I started out with the trade in the S&P and I'll just give it to you right uh, I got to do one thing at a time here uh, Stan Harley will be our guest anyway all I'm doing now is I'm going to convert this and you'll see here that Ensign gives you the possibility of looking at half cycles or the moon phases see at half cycles it would do this, you see? I do third cycles. You could do all that stuff if you wanted to. But that doesn't help you at all, okay? So what all I, well, maybe it helps you. Here's the moon phases, okay? Now, I'm going to get rid of that. And I have to get rid of this because I can't just, I'll get it out of the way. Because now I can see the full moon. See, there's, there's a new moon right here, one day off the high. There's a full moon, nothing. See, right in the middle of the cycle, nothing happens right there. There's the full moon right here, one day off of the high. There's a new moon day right off of the low. There's a full moon right, has to be right in here because it's got to be halfway through. There's a new moon right in the middle of the cycle, just a little bit of a pullback. And then we have nothing there. And then there's a full moon right here, right on the money. There's a new moon. And here we are at a full moon with a big ABCD up into this level right here so this is why i think this is a sell right here two four nine five remember this is silver okay now look what's look what's happened to gold folks gold is going gold is a rocket ship look at this we've got gold up thirty dollars today and silver's up just a tiny tiny bit see we're sitting right there at the 1.27 expansion of the whole monthly range so that's a little something but let's like but anyway, let me get back to this, how this thing operates. Okay, get back to this silver because, see, now what you do is you can go back and test as far as you want to see. What, these are usually within one day. Now, I also do a day count. Just like I said here, I count the days up. When it adds to the lunar thing, then, yes, that's what I do. I know this is a winning trade here, folks. I can tell you why. <laughs> All I know is it's a 10-cent risk. I can't log into my system. I don't know what's happened. I, I I don't know. The losses that I've taken, I take it, well, I, the break, we had a $900 profit in the S&P 
ended up making nothing, okay? Then I lost $300 in the British pound, getting stopped out right on the high. Canadian dollar is down $220. I lost $30 in an absolute beautiful trade in ABCD pattern in $250 in crude oil. I'll just show you that one right there is where we were. I did this ABCD right there, got stopped out right there. There it is right there. So I did that one. And then I did uh, one other one. Uh, the total losses were not that much. The one that did do okay, of course, was the one we were watching yesterday, which was the wheat. And you'll see the wheat. There was the wheat we were looking at. You remember, uh, we were watching this level right here. And we were watching the December, remember, because the December was different. Let's get the December up because that's, uh, that's the one that gave us the, uh, the information that we wanted to see. So that will be W, which will be right here. There's the December. We'll get this up here. And you see what we did today? Look at this. We went and we made within a half a cent of the exact same low yesterday, 527 and one quarter. And the low today is 528. And now we're trading 13 cents higher up here at this level right here in just a matter of minutes. The problem is, boys and girls, I put my stop back here at break even at 458 in the March. And so I ended up putting my stop right here. OK, instead of putting it right there where it was yesterday, I changed it. And guess what? Away it goes for 13 cents. These are errors, trading errors. And when they happen, you know, there's absolutely, you know, what are you going to do? You just got to move on to the next. Uh, you can see here the British pound, how much it's moved since it hit that exact number uh, just a minute ago. So anyway, that's what I'm, I'm going through looking at some of these things here uh, today. Getting back to the stock market, and we'll get up here. If you remember when we were looking at the stock market, I said to sell that 382 retracement back. That was right there. OK, and then the market came down, stopped exactly at the 786. And what else did it do? A, B, C, D. I mean, just and I saw it happening and I said, well, I'm not going to take the profit there because I think this is going to be the really big one. OK, so I moved my stop here and look what happens. Boom, goes up, didn't take it out. So this means that this is still valid. It did not take that out. So I think it's important that we pay attention to that. I don't know whether the Dow Jones did it or not, but that's it. Let me get back here and show you a couple other things that from uh, from just from historical purposes. Oh, the euro, because that was another one that I didn't do the euro yesterday, if you'll remember, because we had that possibility. There was your 61% retracement, but we had that three drive pattern here. See your A, B, C, D, your three drive pattern at uh, 109942. And it went to uh, 100.008, so it was off by about 16 pips. And now that's you know that's where we're sitting here right now. We went above the 61% retracement on the euro. We did not do that uh, in the British pound. Okay, now here's one. When someone sent this to me today, I just said, "You've got to be kidding me!" Look at this in the GLD, folks. Look at that 382, just absolutely spot on in the gold ETF and look at all of these gaps let's just take a quick look at this where we are oh, we're getting ready to take new highs out all right let's take a break here 877-927-6648 we'll be right back Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to walk through this silver trade with you here. Uh, the high that we made yesterday was uh, 2493, okay? The high today was... 2504. So it made a higher high by 10 cents. Now you can see we are trading below it here at 2492. Now look at this move right here. Look at the move in gold, folks. Gold moved $33 to stop exactly at the 1.27 on the long term chart from the November high, or excuse me, the October high to the November low, stopped exactly at 1.2 to the exact tick, folks. The number is 20044. And it stopped the high was 2044.1. Are you kidding me? You can't make this stuff up. That's why silver is a good short, in my opinion. We know for sure that the risk is very, very small. Okay, your stop would have to be right above there. See, that's your number, 2504. So, you were at, well, now you got to risk a little more. During this last break here, we had a little bit of a rally here. That uh, wouldn't have made much difference, three or four cents, but I, I would really like to do that. Now I can't even log on to my system. Why I don't know, but I'll find out when I'm when I'm done here uh, in just a little bit. Okay, now the next one I wanted to double check here is a couple things here on the uh, to, to see if the other markets made new highs. So let's go here, and we're going to look at the Dow Jones and see if the Dow Jones made a move, new high on this run, and it did. You can see here. We made a higher high today. We'll put the 13-minute up. Wow, look at that high we had. Look where we are. We're already 34. We already dropped 150 points off of that high. It did make a higher high. Oh, made a sharply higher high. 1.618 expansion of this whole move. So S&P did not do that, but the Dow Jones went where to go to? Exactly 1.618. So we got that covered. Now, remember... I said to sell the, the Russell because uh, that was the weakest. That's what you're supposed to do. But I'm not smart enough to follow my own instructions. So that's not even funny, actually. Here's the, here's the Russell. And we're going to put the hourly chart. It probably made a 382 would be my guess. It, it didn't even do anything today. Look at this. Uh, this was the, the high we made a few days ago. It's just been going lower and lower. We went down all the way to the bottom here. And we'll see what the retracement was on the way back. I can tell you it's 786. 
with a relatively good duff. There it is right at the 7 8% retracement, and now it's going down. It's a perfect example. Sell the weakest. That's the easiest way to do it. Just like the coyotes, they go for the animal that is having trouble. They don't go after the large grizzly bears. That's very, very – hmm, grizzly bears. That's a good Freudian slip, isn't it? Okay, now the last one we want to look at is the NASDAQ, which has been the leader of PAC during this whole thing. I'm just verifying this myself to see where we are because I'm going to have to re-enter this thing probably uh, later today or tomorrow. So here's the NASDAQ. Look at the NASDAQ. It didn't do anything, folks. There's our high that we made back here the other day. Okay. We didn't even make an A. Look at this. We didn't even make an A, B, C, D to the upside here. Let's see what our retracements were from the high we made back here on uh, Gung Ho Sunday or Gung Ho Thursday, whatever that was. All we did was we couldn't even make a 61% retracement back, and look, we're, we're giving it back. That's why... You know, you got to look for a place to get short this because we're going to have uh, some type of a correction from this level. How big it's going to be, I don't know. But uh, all I know is that uh, when we do get uh, through this uh, time period of the holidays and we get into January, folks, we, we're going to have some volatility. This is nothing compared to what you're going to see here uh, in a few weeks. I, I really strongly believe that. I, uh, I know I'm a bit tired right now, but I can see it happening. And uh, when I see things like, you know, this move here, potentially here in silver, that's the kind of thing where you get really good. One other thing you might want to check is if you went down and looked at the SLV, I don't even know if I still look at that thing anymore. No, I don't. Let's get the, get the silver, uh, the one that they look at, the uh, SLV, that's the ETF for silver. And we'll get the daily up and see what it looks like. Probably has gaps all over it. All right, there's where we are with the silver. Okay, here's where we are. Look look where we are here in silver, folks. We've got gold uh, above these highs, okay? Here's where we are in silver, the same thing. There's your A, B, C, D. Let's just measure it and see where we are. There's A, B equals C, D right there. Look at this. Silver cannot even make a higher high than yesterday. Shut the front door and raise the rent. This is the SLV. Uh, it, it matched it, it looks like. Yes, it matched the high at 2290 or 2282 right now, which happens to be, looks like the exact 786. And there it is right there. If you believe in Gartley, by golly, you got to look at this, folks. Let me, let me just show you something right here. If you can buy this ABCD pattern, right there, which matches up with this ABCD pattern right here, okay, then you got to sell this one because that's a perfect ABCD. And not only that, it's still a bear market. That's nothing more than a long-term Gartley pattern stopping exactly where it's supposed to be, which is right there. Your risk on that SLV would be 20 cents. Uh, but if you're doing the futures, your risk has got to be about 10 cents, but we'll see you know that your risk has to be right here at 25, uh, 25, 13. So you're risking 20 cents, and the profit potential on that, if it's a high, it is going to be substantial. So that's uh, something that we want to keep, uh, you know, very, very, very close eye on. Okay, well now we'll take another look at. Uh, I think we covered everything that I wanted to cover for this uh, with the uh, of all the trades that we did. You know, the total amount of dollar wise, folks, it was not a very much. It, it wasn't very much. I mean, it was uh, probably a couple grand, which is you know far less than one percent. But th the problem is when you have six trades go on and you only can uh, you you end up losing on four of the six and then break even on one and uh, have a small loss in the third one. So you're basically looking at five out of six losing trades and then they've reversed in your favor. That's what we call a very, very tough day. And so this is why instead of drinking water like I usually drink today, this is Smirnoff's finest. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. This is just Aqua Regia, folks. There's nothing more. Wait, that's higher clerk. Hydro clerk has it. This is water. <laughs> Stan Harley will be our guest giving us some good dates here. And if he's got some good dates in the stock market today, that's another reason to think, 
you know, that's what we're looking at right uh, here uh, in the S&P, because the S&P did not make a new high, uh, nor did the NASDAQ, nor did the Russell. It was only the Dow Jones that made that, and that was due to one stock that I know for sure, which was Boeing, and there's probably a few others in there, because that's what we're watching. Now, if you're doing this professionally, what you should do now, and I'm not trading the rest of the day, folks. I am finished. I might not trade again till 12.30. Oh, that's a joke. Anyway, watch for a 382 retracement up here, 45.61. That was where I would uh, look at it again because nothing's really changed. This is all Federal Reserve BS from Mr. Waller, one of our favorite Fed governors. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648 with Mr. Stan Harley. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, for back, folks, we have Stan Harley in the house with a beautiful Christmas red shirt on. My golly, looks like Santa Claus himself. How are you doing, Stan? Hey. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> How are you doing, Larry? <laughs> I'm good. Still living the dream. What do you got for us today, my friend? I got a glass of Smirnoff here to join you. Yeah, right. If I drink that stuff, I would be. A, I can't even drink wine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm uh, due north of you. Um, 
Oh, that's that right. You're, you're in Arizona today. Yes, I forgot. Yeah. yeah, I came yeah, to I California to see the new grandbaby, spent a few days oh, there. Wow. Now I'm in Arizona. Family well, and friends we have, having a good old time. A, the weather out a, here is just gorgeous. One of our very, very favorite folks here that we don't get to talk to very often. He's a very, very famous trader. He's going to be moving up to uh, uh, Cave Creek, it looks like. I won't mention who it is until he moves up there, but uh, he, he's, uh, he's, been, he's traveled all over the world. Anyway, tell us what you're looking at, my friend. You've got some of the best dates that we have in this program, so they've, de they've done pretty well. So tell us what we're looking at. Absolutely. Um, what I thought I'd do is start out show the uh, show the stock market here. Okay. Let's uh, let's take a look first at the weekly data. And uh, this is sort of a, a continuation of the theme that I've been talking about for some time. On the uh, on the weekly chart, we tend to get dominant lows about every 33 to 34 weeks over the long haul it's closer to 34 weeks in in uh, the last couple of years it's expand or it's, it's contracted just a scotch to, to about 33 weeks but over the long haul it's 34 weeks which is eight months both of those numbers 34 and 8 have to be happen to be uh, part and parcel of the Fibonacci series no surprise there and the most recent low in this cycle occurred on October 27th and we've been powering higher since that day and uh, on the air here with you I was suggesting that uh, that would be a back up the truck moment that I thought we would get a, a rocket ship advance out of that low and uh, with very little hesitation and uh, in the blink of an eye we'd be a new high ground and that's that's still what I'm expecting Larry. Uh, Stan I, I, I don't correct my guests very often but I have to do this, okay? I, I owe it to my readers and my listeners. You just mentioned that you thought it was going to go up with very little correction. Uh, there was no correction. Let's correct that, okay? I mean, it's been straight up. <laughs> I it, it, mean, it's been I'm, straight up. Yes. 22, 22 think, trading days. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I think this is a blow-off top in the making. Okay. And... Uh, well, I think uh, we are fast approaching what is going to be a secular market peak that could stand for some time. I think okay. uh, it's coming. Um, we've got uh, a couple of months before we get there, and I'll talk about that here in a couple of slides. Uh, but okay. uh, yeah, I think this is going to be uh, one for the record books. Uh, playing this from the long side for the next couple of months, I think is going to be uh, the way to go for long side investors. I think folks that try to fight this thing are, are going to be are, are going to be missing out. <laughs> but the path of least resistance is northbound, in my judgment. We've got okay. to take out the uh, the summer highs, as you can see on the weekly chart. We're getting close to that July 27 slash August 1st peak. Um, I think we'll uh, we'll chop sideways here for a few more days, and I've got some charts I'm going to share here on that. But in the blink of the eye, I think you're going to see a record high ground, not in all market indices. But, uh, but some. It's going to be a diversion top in the making. Okay. Uh, let's look at the daily data. Um, this is current through just a, just a short while ago. Uh, we are uh, doing a little hesitation now, just shy of the summer highs, to be expected. Uh, as, as, as a market approaches a former high, you've got a lot of people that want to get out essentially where they got in. So all those folks that bought in in late July, early August, are hitting the sell button right now. Uh, so we've got a little bit of sideways chop. I think it's probably going to carry forward for about another week or so. Uh, but uh, I see between now and the next week, sideways chop. More sideways than, than down. But any give back at all, I think, is a gift for alongside investors. Uh, what I've shown here on the screen, and this is a continuation of something I've been talking about with you and the, and the viewers for months, the dominant lows have been coming in nominally at 53 trading days, sometimes 49, and sometimes a little bit more. That cycle expands and contracts. A couple of times it's, it has expanded by 1.5, but then it falls right back to its regular heartbeat. The most recent low on October 27th marked the latest low in the 53-day cycle. And my regression analysis points to the next recurrence in this pattern 
for uh, mid to late uh, January. And I think the cycle is going to invert at that point in time, and it's probably going to coincide with what I think is going to be an important market high. Wow, looks uh, pretty good to me. This is uh, this is a, a magnified view of the S&P 500. I ran this off uh, just, as you, as you can see, a little over an hour ago. Uh, the 53-day lows I've marked here with purple vertical lines. And then what is interesting is we've got a Fibonacci series expansion ongoing in the pattern of highs. Notice, uh, not Fibonacci, what I really meant to say was a Lucas series expansion. Mm -hmm. um, the Lucas number series are a little bit different from the Fibonacci series. They're all related. Lucas numbers are simply the Fibonacci numbers multiplied by the square root of five. Um, so Lucas 76 defined the high we saw back in February of this year. Uh, doubling of that is a 152. That defined the high in early May. Then the next Lucas number in the series, 199, coincide to the day with the, uh, with the high in the Dow on August the 1st of this year. And just a couple of days prior to that, the S&P peaked out. Um, assuming the pattern continues, the next Lucas number in the series is 322. And that falls into uh, the mid to late January time period. And assuming this series of Lucas counts and their doubles coinciding with significant market highs, I think uh, the pattern is not going to fail us. I think it's going to once again uh, mark an important high. And I think that could be a very important high. So what I'm saying is between 16 and 26 January, with the, the, mid, the middle of that falling somewhere around the 19th, uh, might might be it. Uh, as we get closer and closer to that date, uh, I might refine that a bit. I might even change my mind altogether. That's certainly possible. But right now, mm -hmm. uh, it's looking like uh, that might very well be a very, very important market high. I think it's going to be a divergent market high, Larry. Mm -hmm. uh, that is to say, uh, you might see the S&P go to a new high, maybe the Dow, maybe the NAS, maybe not the transports, maybe not the New York composite, I don't know. What what combination of uh, divergences will occur, it's way too early for me to say. But normally, normally most uh, cyclical market peaks tend to be characterized by some type of divergences where you see a fewer number of stocks and okay. ETFs among the okay. benchmark indices going to a new, okay. new high ground. Okay. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. We're going we're gonna to pay a few bills here, Stan, so stay with us, and we'll be right back with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. Stay with us, please. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. back folks talking with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter and he has certainly been telling us uh, some great stuff through the years so please uh, uh, keep going Stan. Well thank you Larry. Uh, I, I heard you talking a little while ago uh, with the view that we might see an expansion of volatility coming real soon. I, I respectfully have a different view. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, okay. I think what is more likely to occur is we're going to chop sideways uh, in a fairly narrow range with very limited volatility as opposed to an expanded degree of volatility. Uh, and uh, that's typical of what we see in a, in a, in a uh, initial move off of a 34-week cycle bottom. And I think uh, this move off that 34-week cycle bottom is going to have some degree of prominence because it is evolving into what I'm ex expecting, expecting which, I, which I'm saying I think will occur is going to be a blow off top. Uh, here is an indicator on the screen uh, that I developed a number of years ago. Uh, nothing really novel about it. It's, it's merely a computation of rate of change. Uh, one thing I think a lot of technicians don't understand is they will assign numerical values to their indicators without a lot of thought. But as it turns out, uh, depending on the number, whether it's 9, 10, 14, 21, whatever number one chooses, um, to get the right waveform is dependent upon the cycle that's in play at that present time. But cycles vary. So how do you get around that seemingly uh, astronomical and possibility of having the perfect indicator. Well, you can't, but there is a way around it. And my way around it is I take the same calculation across multiple time frames. I've chosen three, and I've been doing this, these three numbers, seven, 14, and 20, for a couple of decades now. There's nothing scientific about it other than it seems to work. And 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 I don't say that with, with a smirk or anything, I'm just saying that uh, as one gets experienced in the field of technical analysis <coughs> and develops a, a tool of indicators and oscillators, I think we all get fairly familiar with their variance nuances over all market cycles up and down. We know when they get to extremes, we know when they develop divergences, we kind of get a good sense of them. But what I've done here is I look back seven trading days, 14 trading days, and 20 trading days, subtract the two and divide by those numbers and I get a measure of price velocity. Some call that computation rate of change. Some say momentum. I don't like the term momentum, I'm an engineer. I like price velocity. Well, long, and then I smooth the raw data with some exponential moving averages. Where am I going with all of this? Well, look at the red dots and the green dots representing seven day and 14 day price velocities. They're coming downhill right now. But price is not going downhill. Price on the daily chart is even sideways. So in a bull market, if we see price velocity coming downhill, but price is going sideways, but not down, 
that has profoundly bullish implications. And I think that's what's going to happen here. I think these dots are going to kind of head down here for the next several days into early next week. Price is going to just essentially chop sideways in a fairly narrow band with low volatility. And then next week, you're going to come in one morning, and the futures are rocketing higher, and away we go. And we start powering northbound once again. So you really think that the, the volatility is going to slow down after the first of the year? No, what I'm saying is the volatility over the next several days is going to oh, 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 okay, next several days. All right, I can understand that, yes. And then we're okay. going to hit cycle low, which essentially is going to be uh, the apex uh, of this sideways movement that will serve to work off the overbought condition and set the technical underpinnings for the market to move higher. Take out the summer highs and then uh, – and then the next goal is to challenge the January highs from last year. Okay, it makes good. But just looking at this chart, you'd be naive to think that it can't challenge those highs because you're just a, a baby's breath away from those highs. A baby's breath away from the mm -hmm. summer highs. And then, mm -hmm. of course, what I don't show in this chart, looking back a little bit further in time, are the January 2022 highs. We're only, right now, uh, Larry, we're only 5% from the S&P's all-time high in yep. January. Certainly are. But, That's but right. it do another 5% yeah. from here, oh my gosh, it could do that in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've done we've done 3% before, so I think 5% yeah. is not too bad. We've got those huge gaps in this move from October yes, we the did. Uh, 27th. Uh, uh, and PPI, CPI, PPI, yeah, yeah we did. And I don't think those gaps are going to get filled anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Now, maybe late next year, but not, not in the short term. That's okay. my theory. We'll see where that pans out. Uh, let's shift gears. Uh, we got a little bit more time here. And if the music starts going and I fail to catch it, just, just I'll, step on the microphone. I'll scream know. at you. <laughs> Boy, these. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Stan, uh, before you, I, I, where yeah. I live, where I live now, I, I told you my house in Westlake sold for one point. Nine million that I paid thirty three thousand for in nineteen sixty six, but uh, that didn't make any. But my house here in Tucson, in this little area where we live near the foothills, uh, we haven't had a home for sale here in three and a half months. And that's there's eighty homes in this subdivision, and that's the first time since these were built in nineteen seventy nine that there's not been at least three or four homes for sale. And my real estate guy is. He said the old people can't afford to sell it because they can't move anyplace else because to buy another house is 8%. And I think that makes a case for it. Interesting. Uh, yeah. And I, and I think that phenomenon is present not only in the Tucson area, but I think it, it's it's that way nation, nationwide. Uh, this is the, the Case-Shiller data uh, for folks who may not know just came out this morning. It comes out the last Tuesday of each month. And uh, this is the data for the National Index. Well, I got a little typo in there, but it, it's uh, data through September 2023. And as you can see, the National Index just made a new all-time high. Uh, the, the blue uh, data points represent monthly uh, data points as reported by Case Schiller. And then the red is an 18-month moving average of the raw data. Mm -hmm. A simple buy-sell indicator, very, very simple, but it works. Take note of where the monthly data in blue crosses either above or below the 18-month moving average in red, and you've got a very simple but very effective buy-sell signal for real estate. And you can see several months ago, we pulled back. We kissed the 18-month moving average but did not break below it. So that's the day. Trend still northbound. Uh, and indeed it is. Uh, however, comma, uh, having said that, uh, some divergences are starting to pop up. Here is data for the West Coast market, the Los Angeles market, which is, uh, I believe, the largest in the nation. Um, oh, note, I see, yeah. Note some divergence with the national. It has not made a new high yet. It has not made a new high. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> The professor is up in the front of the room stomping his foot on the floor. This will be on the exam. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, so, we've got we to pay a few bills. Stay with us, Stan. I want to go through some more slides. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, folks, a Harley Stock Market Letter. Stay with us, please. Another three minutes to go.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, my friend. Well, I thought I just emphasize the fact that I think we're getting some type of divergent structure in the uh, in the case shiller data and uh, I've been saying from some time that I thought this time period that we're in right now would be associated with a cyclical high in real estate and I think we're in the process of making that right now the national index just with the most recent data went to a new all-time high but we're starting to see some divergences and wow. you can see the Los Angeles Metro Index did not go to a new high. In fact, it didn't take out the high from a month ago. Uh, so it's flattening out, and it looks like it's uh, developing a divergent market peak with the National Index. You can think of the Case-Shiller data just like we do with the stock market. Look for divergences. We've got 10 of the major metro markets, uh, as well as 20 separate regional major market indices with the, with the Case-Shiller wow. data. Compare that with the national data. And, uh, and, uh, and and look for divergences, and, and that will give you an indication of, well, are we making the top now, or are we making the bottom now? Uh, real estate, I know, uh, is something a lot of people focus on, even on this channel here on TFNN. Uh, mm -hmm. and it could be your, your best friend because of the power of leverage, uh, but it could also be your worst enemy going the other way. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks to me like uh, things are looking a little toppy. Looks so, like an ABCD pattern to me, folks. Okay. From low to high, there it is, A, B, C, D. 
Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, my friend, and have a wonderful holiday. We're going to have you on again really soon, before the end of the year, of course. So be safe over there and travel safe back to uh, Virginia, okay? I shall indeed. Yeah, sorry I missed you this time. If I had more time to get up there, I would, but you're leaving the guest tomorrow, I guess, so we'll catch you soon, okay? Correct. Okay, thank you very much, Stan. Stan Harley, folks, of the Harley Stock Market Letter. We'll see you folks uh, on the flip side tomorrow with our guest is Joey D. Napoli, also a friend of Stan Harley. So we'll see you all later, folks. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.